whoa, look at that. Let me adjust that. It's because my poor camera is just not a well boy. He's a boy because he doesn't work properly. If he was working properly, he'd be a girl. Um, so good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning at 10 to 11 on a slightly grey day, which is quite nice. We've had stunning, um, stunning, stunning weather with beautiful blue skies and very warm. And today it's still warm, like it's, it's almost hot, but it's grey out there. Anyway, I'm struggling with my camera and it's only giving me nine minutes to talk to you. So... That always makes me feel really, I don't know, I don't feel relaxed. I'm always thinking, oh, I've got to hurry, got to hurry. And so it's a bit more complicated to talk when it's like this. But anyway, let me just forget about that for a moment and tell you who you're looking at. This is my Lottie, who I made a few years ago, and she is the Mary Ann Sculpt by Natalie Bleak. Now that's in case you're new. And in case you're new, I am a reborn artist and a doll collector. I have a lot of dolls, not just, not reborns. I only have three of my own reborns, but I have a lot of other sorts of dolls, all sorts of dolls I've been collecting for, oh, well, basically really since I was a little girl, if truth be known, and with breaks in between, you know, when you have children and, and there's no spare money, but as soon as the children started to grow up, the doll collecting, you know, really ramped up. Anyway, so that's me. And this is Lottie. And this is an outfit I bought months ago from eBay that I've been dying to show you guys. But because we were doing the, the um, a romper review, I didn't want to put anything else on her except a romper. So this is the first time she's tried it on. Now the bonnet doesn't go with the outfit. It's just a bonnet I had. So she had to wear it for my bonnet loving friends who are like me and just oh, a baby in a bonnet is to me irresistible. Anyway, so let me tell you about this outfit. It's a brand, I think I've bought one piece from this brand before because it's ridiculously expensive. It's an Australian brand and it's called Fred Bear. And the bear, I think, is B-A-R-E. Not, I think that's right. Um, not B-E-A-R. Anyway, um, I, I found a seller on eBay, a local um, Sydney seller, who buy, seems to buy up these expensive brands and sell them for a fraction of the cost. So I guess she gets them pretty cheap from somewhere. Maybe she gets them from the op shops. And um, But this this is a actually didn't come as a set. There are two pieces and they each had a separate price tag on them. And um, anyway, I made an offer and I got it and it's beautiful. It's a, a, like an off-white colour, a creamy sort of colour in a cotton knit. The top is like a matinee jacket almost. It's only got three buttons at the top. And then at the bottom of the bodice, it's got lace, like a lace ribbon that's threaded through some little holes and it does up in a bow at the front. And there's the cutest little edging on it. I don't know if you can see the edging on the front of the jacket or whatever you want to call it, cardigan, matinee jacket. And then um, they're just the pants are plain, just with that they have the same lace tie around the waist. So that's that. And then the bonnet is by Mebi, M-E-B-I, but I got it super cheap. You know, I, that's when I get my bonnets. When they go on super sale, I just grab them. And you know, I have a lot of bonnets in this house. They don't cover the whole house. Thank goodness they're confined to one drawer and they're not allowed to leave that drawer unless the baby's wearing them. I've told them strictly they're not escaping. So because I can't actually fit any more bonnets in that drawer. And let me tell you, it's a deep drawer. Um, I probably won't be getting any more because space is always stops me from collecting more things. Because if I haven't got anywhere to put something, I'm not going to get it. Um, anyway, um, no, 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 no. Let me think. Because I'm under pressure, it just doesn't, it's just hard. It's really hard. So let me just tell you, the camera is ridiculous. It's got all these strange things on it. That I just don't know what they are and I can't get it back to its normal setting at all what I'm going to have to do is go on the computer and like find the the full menu manual because the little book that I got with this camera is just doesn't have anything in it so um, I'll have to do that but I keep putting it putting it off because for me that's like water torture oh can't think of anything worse than trying to read through some complicated manual on the computer 
And speaking of computers, it's gone stupid as well. Like all these things, I think they don't like the virus out there or something. Well, they're both boys, because that's why they're not working. So when I went to try to put the photographs and the, and the video that I took um, for my last video, when I tried to put that into the computer, it just, oh my goodness, it wouldn't do it. I think I made seven attempts before I tricked it into to doing it. And now I can't even bring up all the pictures that I put in there. It's just so weird. So if you're watching this, it means I managed to trick my computer again. So fingers crossed after this is done that it'll work. Um, now, I want to just talk about my last video because your comments are just were wonderful. Like that you shared with me how you're feeling about, um, you know, being stuck at home and I, I was just really touched and the help with knowing what to do with Instagram, that was really good. Turns out I don't have to do those scary hashtag things, but um, Laurie explained to me how they're not really scary, you just put them in, so I don't know. I'll have a go soon, I'm not quite brave enough now, at, well not now, but yet, I will be, I'll do it because it just seems, everybody seems to put lots of gorgeous, gorgeous pictures up. And sometimes, you know, when I take a picture of my babies, I think, oh, I'd love just to share this picture. Especially there are times when you just plonk them down, and they just the way they land is just so perfect, so relaxed looking. Um, but anyway, so that's a little challenge. But I have other challenges in the meantime, like this camera and the computer. Now let me tell you about a fabulous day that I had yesterday. My youngest daughter came with her two children and Arnie, the beautiful Arnie, came as well. And he's getting such a big brave boy. He was brave enough to run up all the way up my ramp onto my deck yesterday. He's scared of ramps because he hasn't experienced them. He knows steps because he's got some steps outside of where he lives in his home. So he's grown used to steps but the ramp was really scary, even though you would think that's so easy. But he kept only going, last time they visited, he only went up a certain distance and then he'd go back down. This time he came all the way up and about on the, about the fourth time he actually walked around on the deck and explored a bit. So that was really fun. He's just gorgeous. He's fully grown now, but he's so little and so adorable. Oh, you know, his fur looks seriously like black velvet. It is so silky, just gorgeous. I didn't take any photos of him yesterday because actually I was struggling with the most massive migraine, like it was massive. Um, oh, it seems to be gone. I don't, I never like to say it's really gone because quite often they just go boop and come back again. So I don't like to tempt fate. But at the moment, it seems to be gone. So anyway, I took no photos. I just concentrated on enjoying my beautiful visitors. I made them some chocolate muffins, and we just played and talked and played and talked, and I loved it. Um, my daughter fixed up a couple of things around the house for me, like I couldn't empty my shredder, because the top bit where the, where the shredding happens is where the motor is, and it's so heavy to try and get out with one hand. I have done it before, but all that happens is that I get the shredded bits of paper everywhere, like it's awful. So she did that for me. She opened a few jars that were made with like chutney and jams that were made by a friend, my friend Kira, and um, they were one of them not even my daughter could could do until you know she just about smashed it but she didn't she got it open um so that was really good and there was something else she did for me hmm i can't think what it was but things like that that normally would just happen whenever my children visit visit me you know so they never build up those dumb jobs but anyway um so it was a lovely lovely time with them they were here for nearly three hours and um and then after they left, I just did everything I had to do, like disinfect handles. And not that they, my, my little granddaughter came in to go to the loo, and so I had to disinfect a few things, just touch spots. And then, um, you know, I disinfected where my daughter had been, sort of. Um, and she brought me a coffee, which was so nice, like a takeaway coffee. Uh oh, running out of time. I'll stop for now, and hopefully, I'll be back. Right, this is, I've been, I've been granted another nine minutes, so that's pretty good. I don't know if I need a full nine minutes, but at least I've got it. So the other thing I wanted to tell you guys is that I changed Odette the other day. 
I changed her wig as well and she's just in a lovely summer dress and she's got socks and shoes on. I took a couple of pictures of her so I'll add them at the end of this video. Um, it, the wig is really cute. It's got two little plaits and it's in a, it's quite a reddish colour, like it is a, a, like a red head. My granddaughter who has red hair saw her and I said, look, your hair's almost, or well, her hair's almost the same colour as yours, but my granddaughter's hair is slightly redder. Than, than Odette's wig at the moment. Um, but anyway, that was fun when, when my, my granddaughter had a look at that doll, sort of a look-alike of herself in a way. Um, not her face, but certainly the hair colour. That was fun. So I actually bought that wig for Odette in three different colours. It's got that red one that you'll see. She's got a blonde one and then a brown one. And they're not... Um, they're factory made by... Oh, what is that company? You guys probably all know. It starts with M. Oh, for goodness sake, I hate it when things leave your head like that. The shoes are the same brand. You're all shouting at me because anybody who dresses dolls knows that brand. It's very big in, like, doll accessories, wigs and shoes and stuff like that. Oh, it might come to me as I talk. Anyway, so I've got those three wigs, but the blonde wig that she had on last time, that fluffy kind of beautiful mohair one I had made I think I did tell you guys I had made from a seller on Etsy who actually lives in Belarus which um you know is over in the eastern eastern countries of Europe um so and that was handmade with and she dyed the mohair for me she gave me different choices of you know how blonde or yellow or whatever you know there were about four or five different colors I chose from that she had prepared and then I gave her measurements of Odette's head two measurements she needed and she made it like a a crocheted wig cap and then she attached the mohair to that crocheted wig cap, cap. and it's perfect I love that wig so that was made especially for Odette not for very much money um, you would expect it to be a lot more, but it was wonderful. So that's a sort of different kettle of fish to the one she's wearing now, which is, you know, mass produced. Um, but still beautiful. It's very silky and shiny. So I'll attach that at the end of this. Now, I wonder what else I wanted to tell you. Hmm. I wonder if that, that might be all. You might be saved any more minutes of listening to me. Um, but thank you if you're a new subscriber. Thank you for being here. I hope you're enjoying my channel. Oh, there is one big thing I really, really wanted to, to tell you guys. And that is how I'm managing here in lockdown. Because I'm here on my own and I can tell you that I enjoy every minute. The only time I get sad is like yesterday when my daughter and her, her children were leaving. I, I felt really sad. Like... When I'm here on my own, I'm just used to it. I get on with, I've always got so many things to do. The days just whiz past. And that's something that you guys also have experienced, which I would have thought that the days would be dragging because you can't get out and do stuff. Well, I don't go out and do stuff. But the days go super fast. I never have enough time to do everything that I want to do. Um, so today I'm going to do some more hair on my beautiful little boy. Corvin. I nearly forgot his name. How bad is that? Corvin. I want to work. I couldn't do any yesterday. My head was just, oh, it was so bad. Anyway, I'll, I'll do some more on him today. So there's always a doll to be making. But let me tell you something else that is really big in my mind. And that is just learning more about dolls and discovering new dolls. And I've discovered a doll that everybody else has known about forever. They've been around for at least six or seven years and I just didn't know about them. And because I watch lots of doll channels, not just reborn channels, but doll channels on YouTube, I found this gorgeous type of doll and I've just fallen head over heels for it. I won't tell you because I'm determined to get one and I want it to be a surprise when it gets here. Um, I haven't ordered it because I just don't feel comfortable spending the money at this stage. Um, I'll, I'll wait a bit longer. Um, so I'm missing my family when I let myself think about that. But I try not to because um, I'm in touch with them most days. Oh, every day there's at least one child in touch, one or two. When you've got four, it's a lot of kids, so that's good. Um, gives me options. <laughs> there's always someone, <laughs> yeah, someone checking on me. Um, anyway, so kids and my job because I haven't been able to go to work. It's um, 
my work is considered an essential service. Um, like lots of things actually, I was realising because this morning it was rubbish collection morning and of course that's an essential service. How would we cope if they didn't collect the rubbish bins? I remember there have been times where there have been strikes like in New York I think and the rubbish didn't get collected. It just builds up on the street, bags and bags of it. Um, so I reckon they are definitely an essential service but my work is too. But because I'm considered, now I'll put this in um, inverted commas in the air, okay, I'm considered vulnerable, which is not a word I would ever apply to myself. One of the last things I am is vulnerable, but, so I like to think of myself as old and decrepit. <laughs> so I always um, substitute the word vulnerable with decrepit, which I think is funny, it's just a joke to me. Um, but because I'm considered vulnerable, I'm not meant to be going out and doing stuff, so I can't go to work. So I really, really miss my friends. I've been in touch with them all. We talk every week and, you know, have a good laugh and all of that. But I just miss going and being with them. And I miss my job, you know, just my actual work. It's not just the people I work with, although they're a big part of it. Couldn't do, it, do the job without them. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to talk about. Just this new doll that is occupying my brain like you wouldn't believe. Well, you would probably. Yeah, I just keep looking on the website. Keep looking, 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 thinking, thinking, planning. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe it'll be maybe another six months before I'm able to get one. But fingers crossed I can. So, that's something else that I do in my lockdown time. And honestly, at the end of every day, I have no idea where all the hours have gone. I really don't. Because I'm not, like, occasionally, as I told you, like I've cleaned out my pantry or redistributed it. You know, I've done a few things like that. But they're not big planned jobs. They just happen because I see something I don't like. So it's not like I'm going around with a, a microscope and a scrubbing brush. Because I'm not. I'm just living normally. And... Um, but I love, you know, how much I love working on the Reborn, so that's a real pleasure to have time to do that. Plus cooking. Normally I don't like cooking. Like, you know, I cook for my family, um, and it's just me now, so I can't be bothered, you know, chopping and making dishes and cleaning up and all that stuff. So obviously I eat well, you know, I eat way more than I need to. But I eat, you know, I'm, I feed myself well. Um, but with all this spare time, it's fun to think of, of things to make. Like the other day, I thought, oh, I'll get some lemons in my next order because I fancy making a lemon delicious pudding. Now, I don't think I've ever made a lemon delicious pudding. But, because um, you remember I made that lovely choc pud? That was really fun doing that. I used to do that all the time for the children. But anyway, so cooking, <laughs> cooking is more fun. Like it never used to be fun before Mr. Virus came to visit. And he just sort of hovers in the air somewhere, doesn't he? We just don't know what he does. But the more we learn about that virus, the scarier he's getting. See, he's a boy too, because he's not nice. I don't like him. It's not that I don't like boys. I just don't think <laughs> they're as efficient or as, I don't know what the words are. I think girls are pretty good, and I think we can do lots of good things. We're strong, and, um, and we need them too, of course. We definitely do need them. Um, yeah, anyway, I don't want to get into all that nonsense. What was I saying? It's gone. Oh, Mr. Virus out there. Yeah, it's lurking, lurking, and, and the, the more we learn, the scarier it gets, because now it turns out that the virus seems to affect the blood, which is very frightening. That's why we can't get oxygen, because the blood doesn't take up the oxygen because of the virus, and it causes blood clots and strokes, and oh, it's just all horrible. Anyway, now I'm really running out of time, so... I will say goodbye to you all and thank you so much for being here. I love talking to you. I love getting your comments. So thank you, everyone. I really love you. Bye-bye.